Thank you. Thank you, Morgan. Thank you all for being here. My, I have never seen anything like this in my history of Jewish anti-Zionist activism. It's been decades. We used to be tiny. We are huge and growing. Yes. We, we have a sacred responsibility to engage with our parents, our grandparents, our uncles, our brothers and sisters, and try to save their souls, to keep them from indulging in this quest for bloody vengeance. We are here because we will not let our fears of anti-Semitism be manipulated in this way as cover for war crimes and colonial land grabs and to foreclose on the possibility of a political solution, which will only come with an end to occupation, with an end to apartheid, yes. with true Palestinian freedom and self-determination. Yeah. We will not use the fact that many of our parents and grandparents and great-grandparents were refugees from genocide to justify making hundreds of thousands or even millions of new Palestinian refugees. These are not our leaders, not in the Knesset with its so-called unity government and not here in Congress, which reconvenes now in part in order to approve new money and new weapons to send to Israel for its genocidal attack on Palestinians. But there are some leaders back there, like Cori Bush, who sponsored that ceasefire resolution, who has total moral clarity like Rashida Taleb. Rashida, we stand with you. And the list is growing and we will not rest until we get many more endorsers for the ceasefire resolution. We have leaders too at JVP. I am so proud to have been a board member at JVP since they used to just have three people. Uh, three people and, and they weren't all full time. <laughs> now there are, there are dozens, this movement is growing. Who saw the ad, the full page ad in the New York Times? <laughs> and we have leaders that if not now, who have been on the streets night after night, there is a generational shift underway, you know? These politicians, they're scared because they're, they're afraid that if they do the right thing, if they stand up for international law, they'll be accused of anti-Semitism. But we need to tell them there's a generational shift underway. We are watching them. <laughs> Friends, these are the darkest days that I have ever experienced. The Israeli government, with the full support of every Western power in the world, announced an intent to commit genocide using Jewish fears of another genocide as the excuse. And now it is in the process of making good on that threat. That is what we must stop. That is what we are here to stop. That is what we will stop. There are so many more lives to save. We have, you know, this phrase we keep hearing and we see it on banners, stand with Israel, right? That is code for silence. That is code for complicity. That is code for obedience. And it is not our duty as Jews. Our duty is to stand with humanity, to stand with Palestinians under ceaseless bombardment. That is our moral duty. And we will do it and we will do more than that. We will join together and we will fight for justice and peace and coexistence. But right now, we are fighting for a ceasefire. Thank you.